Welcome back to Sir Assist. Today, guys, I'm starting a new challenge on Sir Rare Fantasy Football, this time in the Rare Division, and this is going to be my 300 to £1,000 challenge using Rare Cards only. So, to find out more and to see who I've signed as well, stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, you can sign up using the link in the description to get a host of free stuff. Okay guys, let's kick off. So, as we know, if you've watched my previous videos recently, I've been doing a limited series where it's 100 to £500 challenge in just using the limited cards. That's been going a few weeks now and I've decided to also step back into the rares as well. And I've got a budget of £300. My challenge here is to get to £1,000 with this £300 spend. Now I am going to be revealing the signings that I've made for this rare team that I'm going to be prominently paying in the cap 240 mode. So I'm going to be chaining out those thresholds with these players that I've bought. We'll come on to that in a moment. Now, as I previously shared, guys, I have sold up my full survey gallery a few months ago. And this gave me £12,000 profit in total. That was the net profit since playing the platform in August 2020. I've now started again from scratch. As I say, I have got the series in the limited version where I've spent £100 to try and get to £500. And now I'm doing a separate series where I'm just going to be buying rare cards to get to £1,000 with a £300 budget. So let's go ahead and look at the players that I've bought for this cap 240 team in the rare division that I'm predominantly going to be playing. As of this, as you know, in the cap 240 mode, the rare mode on fantasy football, so rare, you can get 50 US dollars, which equates to around £40 in my native currency when you get over 280 points. So this is what I've built my team around in terms of the £300 budget. I've managed to assemble three players in each outfield position and also managed to acquire two goalkeepers. So let's get on to it, guys. Let's have a look at the players that I've gone for. Have a look at some of the stats of those players as well. So we'll start with the goalkeeper then. Now, I have actually bought this 41-year-old Enrico Bologna. He's had a fantastic season for Defensa Wide Justica. And I don't know if he's going to be staying at um, Defensa Wide Justica or not, or if he's going to be continuing in football. But he's been on absolutely fantastic form, still making plenty of saves for his club in Argentina. He is 41, obviously. He's a bit riskier. But I've snapped this guy up for £30. So I thought that was a bit of a bargain, really. Potentially a goalkeeper who still looks like he's on good form. So could potentially find some first team football somewhere. So this was a bit of a risk. But look at these scores guys. When he was playing some absolutely fantastic scores for a goalkeeper. So I thought it was worth a little punt. Just a £30 punt. To see if he does continue playing next season. For some club in Argentina. Or another eligible league on Surrey. So that was a bit of a punt one that really. Now the main goalkeeper that I'll be using is Hugo Gonzalez. Now he plays for Mazazatlan in the Mexican division. Now the Mexican division is due to return in mid-January guys. So I'm going to have a utility of this player in mid-January. I did pick him up for £150. Now it did take a little bit of research to find out what his um, future is looking like because he did sign for Mazazatlan last season i think it was around june 2023 that it signed for them couldn't find any information online in terms of how long this contract was for but i did manage to get an answer from one of the twitter community on so rare a mexican expert and they did advise me that apparently he's got a three-year contract here so this is looking really really promising so i'm hoping that i get those three years of utility and as you can see he is capable of some good scores as well he's making plenty of saves as well as his new club as you can see he was previously playing for nakaxa uh, but now he has designed for mazatlan so I think this is going to be a really good potential keeper to use in the cap to a mode. As you can see, his L15 is looking pretty good as well. 
So that's the goalkeepers then, guys. Now, I've also bought three players in the outfield position. So I bought three defenders, three midfielders, and three forwards with my £300 budget. First player that I've bought is Emmanuel Golate. He plays for Quirateraro, and obviously he's only 26, and the Mexican league, as I said, does kick off again in mid-January. As you can see, he's really, really cheap. I've picked him up for around £10. Now, he has got a long contract, I believe, as well with Curitara. Did check that up on um, the internet. And as you can see, when he is playing, he's capable of some good scores as well. So he's looking at a really, really good pickup for just £10. And he's only 26 as well. Another defender I picked up was Martin Nevo. Now, I think I played a little bit more for this guy, but not too much more. I think I picked him up for about £11-£12. He's with Atlas in the Mexican League. So as you can see, there's a bit of a theme here, guys. I've tried to focus mainly on the Mexican players because they're going to get me the utility in mid-January. So not too long to wait, really. And as you can see, he's got some fantastic scores as well. And if we scroll down... These are the scores that he's going to be getting. Yeah, so these are looking... He's looking a perfect player, really, for the capped competitions. Because as you can see, he's getting those 50 pluses quite often. And also going up to the high 50s and 60s and 70s as well. So for the cap competition, that's looking really good. His L15 is looking good as well. 47. And the final defender I've got is Sirachi. Now, he plays for Boca Juniors now. And as you can see, he's got a long contract with them. Pick this guy up for about £12, I think it was. He's only 25 Previously played in the Spanish League 1, I think it was. Or that might be the Spanish League 2, potentially. Levante was playing for previously. Uh, but I think he has played for some top clubs as well, potentially in some other divisions. But as you can see, he's got some good scores in his early career in Argentina. So I think he's going to really crack on at Boca. Obviously one of the bigger teams in the Argentinian division. He's got a long contract with him as well. So they've obviously got a lot of faith in this player. So this looks like a really good pickup for £12. So that was three defenders, guys, for around £30. So that's absolutely fantastic. On to the midfielders then. And one of the first midfielders I picked up was Brian Garcia. Again, another player from the Mexican League. 26, plays for Toluca. He has got another long contract, I believe, as well, this player. He was a little bit more expensive, I think. I think it was about £20 that I paid for this guy. But if we look at his scores again, he's really good in terms of the cap tournament. He's getting some good 50 scores and also capable of getting the 60s and the occasional 70 score as well. So I think he's looking a nearly good one. And as I say, the Mexican League does return in mid-Jan. Now, as you can notice here, I've not really gone for any stacks here. Now, I don't think I'm really going to be focusing on stacks at all really here. Um, even when I do start playing some of the regional tournaments. So I think that's going to give you the differential. I think too many people are doing these stacks now. Um, and I'm just going to go for the differential. And it does allow me to follow more teams as well. Which I like the idea of. Okay guys. So the second midfielder I bought is Jose Paradella. As you can see he was previously at River Plate. Now signed for Tigres. 2024 contract with them. Um, picked him up again for around £20, I think it was. Scores-wise, looking pretty solid here. So if we just filter it to the team is at now, as you can see, consistent starter for Tigres. He's going to be getting him in those consisti consistent 50-plus scores, which is going to be really good for my threshold team. And the final midfielder I got was Fernando Arce. And he plays for Nakaxa again in the Mexican division. He's only 27. Um, L15 is looking pretty good, 51. And I picked him up for, I think it was around between 10 to 15 pound. And scores-wise, as you can see, he's doing really well. So he's previously playing for Publa. Wasn't really getting first team football on a regular basis. But now he's signed for Nakaxa. As you can see, he looks to be ever-present in that team with some fantastic AA scores here, guys. So I think he's going to be another fantastic option in the cap division. So there we go, guys. That's three midfielders there, averaging about 50 to £60 pound for those three midfielders. So now on to the three forwards then. The first one of those is Eric Ramirez. He plays in the Argentinian division. Now, the Argentina League does start, I believe, at the end of January. So again, not too long to wait to use this guy. I got him for around £10 as well, which I thought was looking really good. Only 27. He's got a contract till 2024 with um, Gymnasia La Plata as well. And if we look at his scores as well, he is capable of getting some peak scores as well 
when he is starting the game. So I think that's looking a really good option there for £10. Number four I've gone for is Ricardo Monreal. Now, this guy's only 22 and he's got under 23 eligibility till 2025. Not that I really care about that, but it's good to have a young player. He does play for Nakaxa. I think he's got a long contract as well. And I picked him up for around £15. Scores wise, looking pretty good when he's starting. Of course, he's still young as well, so he should improve, hopefully. And the final forward I've gone for is Luis Amarilla. As you can see, he previously played for Minnesota. I think that is that badge. Yep, yeah, Minnesota United in the um, MLS, of course. Then he did sign for Mazatlan around June time. So as you can see, he has been getting some games for them. And he's scoring a few goals as well. So I think he's had that bedding in period now at his new team. And in terms of the Mexican scores, as you can see, looking really good in that division. So I think he's going to be another really, really handy piece in my team here. So if we go to my club, we'll just filter it to the uh, rares. And there we go. And as you can see, these are all the players that I've bought, guys. The ones that I've just gone through, these are all the ones that I've bought. So it's three in each position for the outfielders and also two goalkeepers as well. Now, I think this is going to give me enough flexibility there to hopefully field um, teams most game weeks, especially if um, Bologna does stay with some club or gets another contract somewhere, maybe for another year. That's going to really give me that utility for the goalkeeper. And I think these three for each position in the outfield is going to really help me field a regular team in the cap 240 mode. As I say, guys, I spent a total of £300 on this team. We'll see how we get on. Not too long to wait as well, of course, till mid-January when the Mexican League kicks off again. And then the end of January, the Argentinian League will be kicking off. So I'm hoping Blogna does find a club. And I've also got a couple of other players there as well that will be featuring in the Argentinian League. Okay then guys, that was it for this video. So make sure you follow this series, guys. I will be creating a playlist for this rare challenge of 300 to 1000 there's already a playlist for the limited version which is 100 to 500 challenge so we'll see how we'll get on guys that's a total of 400 invested across both scarcities not going to be depositing anything else now see how far i can get with these sets of players so make sure you follow this journey guys if you're thinking of maybe doing something similar see how we'll get on see if it is possible Okay guys, if you like the video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you've not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link in the description. You will get some free stuff. The full details are down there in the description. Okay guys, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you again on the next video.